Hi folks, an update on my back gear problem. I really appreciate the help and the responses on the forum. Uh, those answers along with a fellow uh, um, helped me uh, figure out that this pin right here, I'll zoom out to show you where I'm at on the mill, um, but this pin right here needed to be pulled to separate this, the movement of this gear from the pulley. Um, and what that allowed is for these to, to rotate independently. You can now see I'm rotating the axle without rotating the pulley. And then my understanding is that by sliding this, those gears together, I'll show you that again. So they're in mesh is what then forces the mill to ride in back gear. I wouldn't be surprised if um, those automatically mesh with the um, original fixture here, but since I've replaced this with my own job here, I took a piece of 12L14, measured the offset, turned it and bored that out, and then made a uh, aluminum piece here, and I can unscrew it, rotate it out of gear, and uh, rotate it back into gear. And I, I threaded this for now just not to create any pressure, but just as a, a stop gap. Um, but what I wanted to show you is that um, my spindle belt is in position A1, I believe, according to the, the plate that I have removed right here. Um, A1 in back gear should be driving at 62 RPMs. Um, so I've got my spindle pulley on the outside here, and I've got the motor pulley um, also on the outside. And when I turn the mill on, it sure looks like it's going faster than 62 RPM. I'm focusing on this piece right here. It's probably 1,000. It's probably moving two or three times a second, which almost tells me it's at around 200 RPM. So I just wanted to see if anyone had any suggestions. Maybe I'm just, uh, I don't know, maybe it's been a long day and I've got something backwards here, but... Uh, Really appreciate the help. I'm really excited to have back here back.